what would happen if we switched LeBron and Jordan in their primes? This is 2010 LeBron with 93 Jordan. Honestly, I don't think it would be an argument of who is the greatest player. Um, I think, honestly, LeBron probably would have dominated more in Jordan's era. But, you know what I'm saying, it's Jordan we're talking about. So, yeah, I I don't think it would be an argument who's the best player. I think LeBron would have probably did more damage in his era, honestly. Yeah, I think think you're right because LeBron's game was built off of Jordan's game. Mm -hmm. But he was two inches bigger, maybe 30 pounds heavier. Yeah. He could pass like magic. It's like Carmelo's size mm-hmm. with <laughs> with Jordan's killer instinct. Yeah. Well, some people don't like that. Uh-huh. And Magic's passing. And I think the argument might be that LeBron would just flop his way to calls. But back in that time, you couldn't flop. Yeah. If you got hit, you get up and play. They exactly. ain't calling. You're going to get checked in the paint. You got to get up and play. And if you put Jordan in today's game, I think he looks like Kawhi Leonard. Mm. Right? Yeah. And I mean, that, that ain't bad. No. But there's so many players like Kawhi Leonard and Jordan, that type of player, that I don't think Jordan stands out like he used to back in that time. Because at that time, he kind of transcended the game. He revolutionized it. Nobody was, at that time, like Jordan. Right. Now everybody is like Jordan. Exactly. Right? We're right. trying to be Kobe and, and LeBron and, and Kawhi. They all replicated Jordan's game. I agree. So, I feel like it was it was not as much not as many superstars back then as it is mm-hmm. today you know what i'm saying the league is very talented you know it's yeah, a lot it, of scores yeah there were athletes that mm-hmm. played basketball then but now there are not a lot of the athletes are shifting to basketball there wasn't many athletes then i'm not that larry bird's not an athlete but there was a lot of <laughs> birds and stockton type players yeah. and now those guys are not playing basketball and if they are they're they're not as around they they used to call them truck drivers yeah you know exactly that's what that's how they used to describe those type of players but you know what i'm saying like you said they wasn't really athletic but the skill was there you know what i'm saying yeah. but, so jordan wouldn't dominate in today's game as much as lebron would dominate in the 90s i would say that i would i would definitely I think so. say that if anybody argues that man i don't yeah. i really need to hear a good argument because you throw you throw lebron in the, in the 90s basketball and at that size yeah like like it's you said, over. it's more like Jordan-like players, you know, like not not as talented as he was, of course, sure. but, you know what I'm saying, the skill is crazy nowadays, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's out of this world. How crazy of a media frenzy will it be if Bronny and LeBron play on the same team? That would be one of the best things to ever happen in the NBA. Uh, it wouldn't be an argument. I don't care what accolade LeBron has or what accolade anybody has. It will make LeBron the best player to ever play the game. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't really happen in the NBA. Yeah. You know, playing with your son on the same team. You know what I'm saying? Being right there next to him. So That'd be crazy, man. Honestly, that would be one of the yeah craziest things to happen in yeah. the NBA. One of the top ten, top five easily. Yeah. I think, like, from a father's perspective, any, anytime you see your kids doing anything good and succeeding, it's like, like a, I don't know, as, as a father, I... I mean, my kids are little, but mm-hmm. like everything you do influences them. And then to have your son play with you for 80-something games, right, for probably the last season of LeBron's career, if yeah. if it happens. Might be. That would be nuts, man. And I, and I think it does help his legacy. I think you're right because the Jordan-LeBron conversation <laughs> is so nitpicked mm-hmm. with everything. And now it's going to be like, oh, he was able to, at the end of his career, wait out, you know, mentor his son through a full NBA season, man, dude, the media frenzy would be nuts, bro. I think even if they don't end up on the same team, just even if they're in the league together. Nah, LeBron's going to do whatever he yeah. can to play with them. I, for sure. Even for if sure. it's like with Utah. <laughs> if Utah drafts him, like 27th pick in the 2024 draft, for sure. LeBron's like, I'm going to Utah. Or any, they're trading him somewhere, he's going to end up there. Any team's going to want him, so it's like if LeBron – LeBron's like his own GM, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So he can end up wherever he wants to, yeah. honestly. Yeah, and and since the league is, yes, it's about winning, but it's also about entertainment. If mm-hmm. you can get a year of LeBron with Bronny and then be irrelevant for the next 10 years, they'll take it. They'll take like, it. They, they've they've got to get entertainment value, relevancy. I think he's the top prospect. He's not a lottery pick, I don't think. No. But, but. He's, he'll, get, he'll get drafted because of the upside and the potential of having – a one year of LeBron. Yeah. Man, that'll be a crazy, that crazy be, year. 
insane. Um, like you I said, might even cry, dude, cause <laughs> just because the father son thing. No, for real, an entire season going on, oh, bro. I'm, dude. You're gonna, I'm gonna have to watch every game, and I know the tickets are gonna be no way, just man. Insane, yeah. Whatever team, whatever team it is, the tickets are gonna be insane to go watch them two play. So you think they'll um they'll try to replicate the the Wade to LeBron alley oop where he he throws his arms out after <laughs> throws it off the glass. They're definitely gonna make some plays together. Yeah. That would be crazy. Like Jeez, that's man. really like pitch that's really like a good um, imagination in my head yeah. right now like the alley-oops the yeah. assist the setting picks for your dad mm. that's weird man that's like backyard type stuff and then doing it in the nba gosh that would be that'd be nuts man that's like once in a lifetime thing like yeah that just doesn't happen yeah it has to happen man yeah it has to happen 